It's December, the month when night reigns supreme over day. So it's time to talk about the theme of night in the paintings of artists. But not about the night that everyone can see by looking out of the window or going out into the street, but about the night that is born in fantasies, on the edge of sleep and wakefulness, in the hidden corners of the soul. The impetus for writing this article was the painting, Night with a Plume of Stars, by the English artist Edward Robert Hughes. Night in the form of a beautiful woman with dark hair, wearing a fluttering dress. Night is flying across the sky, rocking an infant in her arms. And from her hands fall poppies, which turn into a flock of golden birds. Angels cling to the folds of her dress. Night is movement, but on silent wings. Are those wings hers? It feels as if another figure of the same size as her is flying behind her, out of our sight. It is not unusual for night to travel with a companion. The English artist Evelyn de Morgan, in her painting Night and Sleep, shows us two androgynous figures circling the sky. Night leads sleep, covering it with her blanket. And sleep sprinkles the earth with poppies, the symbol of dreams and death. The sky is not dark, but night seems to be holding a cloak, symbolizing the night sky, and both have their eyes closed. It is as if night is leading us, protecting us, and we are powerless to break free from her flight. Night is most often a woman, and there is a sense of protection, of a mother putting her children to bed. Like the painting, Spirit of the Night, by the English artist Constance Fillett. Because of the dark, deep coloring of the mantle, there is also a slight hint of menace. Night envelops and suffocates, night deprives us of consciousness, and the poppies speak of both dreams and death. The bats flying around do not comfort or protect, and she looks more like death than night, who is about to devour a sleeping young woman. When night and sleep appear together, they can look like lovers. Like in the English artist Solomon Simeon's painting Night and Sleep. Night and sleep intertwine like lovers in the night, bound by darkness. The safety of the darkness of night allows love what is forbidden in the light of day. Night can allow things to happen, to see things that would not otherwise be approved. Night allows everything, and even show yourself as a beautiful naked girl as in the painting, The Moon Nymph, by Spanish artist Luis Ricardo Falero. Her skin shines like the moon, her hair is as dark as the night sky, this is the reverse of night in the image of the mother. Or as in the German artist Heinrich Faust's painting of night. In this painting, night hardly evokes erotic feelings anymore. The presence of the bats reflects the animalistic nature of night, unruly, somewhat demonic, but irresistible. If night does not involve the viewer in nocturnal orgies, she can appear as a lonely, almost solitary figure. Night can be a time when we feel alone, when all other people are absent from our surroundings, and we travel without friends or help. The painting, Night, by English artist Edward Byrne Jones is just such a painting. His night floats, her face turned away, she does not notice our presence. English artist Wilfred Gabriel de Glenn's night is turned to face us. But her eyes are closed and her arms are crossed over her chest. It is as if the night is protecting itself from the horrors that lurk in the darkness behind it. For we, too, feel vulnerable and utterly alone at night. All we have to do is wait for morning and things will get better and easier. Like Edward Robert Hughes's painting, On the Wings of Morning. With Hughes' painting I began my story, and with his painting I will end it. Although the theme of night in the paintings of artists is endless. I have shown only a small part of it, 